needed to adapt and lower our impact. And the Fit for the Future programme is an encapsulation of hundreds of individual actions and projects in order to make the National Trust fit for the future. Fit for the Future is a comprehensive plan by the National Trust to reduce the organisation's environmental impact and in particular its energy use. Its aim is to make the National Trust sustainable by 2050, both as a business and environmentally. In the past, the National Trust had received conflicting advice, so it set about doing it for itself, dispelling myths that heritage properties are difficult to treat. The Wales region of the National Trust was selected as a pilot to build on its existing expertise and prove that CO2 and cost savings can be made in properties of this kind. The actual energy approach is really simple. The first thing is, do you know what's going on? Understand what's happening. To get an accurate picture of energy use, the Trust developed an online metering and monitoring system which delivers monthly reports based on staff entering meter readings. This makes it possible to track exactly how effective each new efficiency measure is. The second bit is use what you have better. Just lowering the amount of heat we were putting in to manage the humidity here has resulted in an overall reduction of 20%. The third one is the efficiency measures. And there's an awful lot of the new generation of LED lights. The windows seal better, the curtains are used. So I'd say 75% of the work are the those first three steps, lowering your use overall. Once these energy efficiency measures have been addressed, then renewable energy options are considered. PV is such a good match for the National Trust because when the visitors are over, we're using quite a lot of electricity in catering, in lighting and various other aspects. Sun's out, visitors are here, the PV is producing at its maximum. Each property has its own challenges and opportunities. A small cottage has been refurbished with solar water heating and a wood pellet fueled boiler. The Fit for the Future programme encapsulated about 190 separate, I won't call them projects, but actions. The biggest being uh, almost £2 million being invested into a single hydro uh, on Snowdon. If you were to visit Powys Castle, you'd see what we think is one of the first energy neutral commercial plant nurseries in Victorian greenhouses. Here at Llanacheron, we've got more secondary glazing going in. Quite often, you actually won't see this stuff but it's what we call the belly of the beast. It's what's happening under the surface at the moment. In the last two years, energy consumption at Welsh National Trust properties has been cut by 41%, which equates to a cut in annual CO2 emissions of about 1,700 tonnes and cost savings of £280,000 per year. This allows more money to be spent on the National Trust work of preserving natural and cultural heritage. National Trust is a charity and every pound that we spend on oil, even though it might generate heat, is a pound that we're not spending on conservation. The National Trust depends on its visitors, so a big part of the plan is reducing the carbon footprint of those who come to look round its properties. It's mapping how far visitors travel and offering reduced entrance fees to those who arrive by foot, bike or bus. The National Trust has demonstrated how to reduce energy consumption at historic and sensitive locations and is keen to share its practical experience. The advice that the National Trust gave was very apt with the range of buildings that we had. They actually told us that what we needed to do was look at efficiency first and to look at the actual building and how it performs. And instead of just bolting on sustainable technologies to inefficient buildings, we went back to basics and started to look at monitoring the properties in a better way and looking at the energy we're actually using and cutting that energy use before we started to look at sustainable sustainable technologies. It's hardwired into what we do, and I think that's what it's going to take in the UK as well, is to understand and to build it in right from the beginning, not bolt it on after we've got a problem. It's an easy thing to pick up and utilise on which whatever property you have, whether it be castles or very new buildings, it, it really does fit all. If we can do it, you can do it.